Alrighty, hello and welcome everybody. Uh, this is a new channel, so I can't say welcome back, but this is Thomas, i.e. Unlucky. You're following me over from my Unlucky Gaming channel. This is going to be the home of all of my sports content from now on. And as you can see, this released 30 minutes ago, so I finally was able to log into EA, and I'm going to figure out what I want to do first on NCAA or College Football 25. Alright, well... So I guess my decision is going to be you've heard the glory. It was going to start a dynasty, but the servers are absolutely overloaded. Um, I don't know what I should be making the quarter lengths. I think I'll start with six minutes. I'm going to be playing on Heisman. Um, if six minutes is too low, I'll increase it, but that's currently what I'm thinking. Custom conferences. I don't plan to touch the conferences. Um, but what I do want to do, I want to be an underdog. This is as soon as I found out there were four things you could be, the one thing I knew I wanted to be first was an underdog. And you know what? I was thinking about being a corner for this first league, but I did play a practice game, and it made me realize I think I want to I think I want to be a wide receiver but what do I want to be I think I want to be a route running wide receiver all right so we get a bunch of customization we can do what are we gonna name this guy I for whatever reason I knew James was gonna be the name that I picked and I don't know how I came up with Marietti, but that's what I'm going with. I do think it's crazy that they have my hometown in this game, but I'm obviously not going to choose that. I'm just going to pick Chicago. But I think that's crazy. I'm picking uh, number 89. I honestly think that's my favorite wide receiver number. Big Amari Cooper fan. Obviously, I'm a Raiders fan. Um, but now, how are we going to make this guy look? He's Italian, so I'm going to have to go with something... Harry. All right, so here's an overall look at Marietti. Uh, 89 is the number. Have the towel on the back. I've removed the spats. Have the uh, the legging thingies on. I've got the socks pulled all the way up. We got the towel on the back. Got the turf tape. Adidas gloves. Adidas shoes. I'm a personally a big Adidas uh, supporter. So let's go ahead and continue on. The three month abil abilities below are controlled by individual meters that you can upgrade by completing objectives. It will activate based on the associated meter value. Fan favorite, road dog, clear headed. Didn't read any of those. Uh, but yeah, this works. Hello, James. I'm a local reporter covering a few questions, which is most important to you. I want to find a program that's going to develop us over time. And which is important. I want to go to a program that has a lot of history. I want a fun college experience. Alright, this article will publish in a couple days. I look forward to following your career. Alright, so across all of the conferences, we'll be able to see who has offered us contracts. Now, going through the five stars, we have gotten offers from Ohio State, Georgia, Notre Dame... Michigan and Alabama and across the four stars we've gotten offers from my favorite school Clemson but none of these guys are super interested in us but if we go down to the one stars I wouldn't mind seeing who all has some interest in us what about some of these two stars like Indiana I see Rutgers Duke Northwestern Northwestern might be my pick. Three-star Kansas is interested in us. We're going to go with Northwestern. And the way that we're going to spin this story, got a Chicago kid, only, school that's look, only schools that are looking at him are Illinois schools, and he wants to stay in Chicago. They're the only school that... Uh, Offered him a deal. That's kind of how we can look at this. 
All right, and we're gonna have a bunch of stuff to do right away, but I don't know what all we have to do. Top stories. Uh, no, I don't want to quit. I'm so confused. We are able to see who are the uh, Heisman predictions in the preseason. But that's appearing to be it. Well, Carson Beck is named first team All American in the preseason. Same with Ohio uh, State running back Quinshawn Judkins. Are we able to upgrade our player at all? We got two skill points. And. Are we able to. Alright, so it's just under ratings. So we can upgrade our elusiveness, route running, hands, IQ. Power and quickness. We're 79 speed. Well, the only thing we can grab right now is IQ, so we might as well grab this. Brings us up to a 61 overall. I think we were 59, if I'm not incorrect. But let's go ahead and advance the week. Welcome to Northwestern, James. This is entire this entire coaching staff is excited to have you here. I wanted to give you some information before you start the season. Being a collegiate athlete isn't easy. You have a lot to balance in a finite amount of time, so you won't be able to do everything. How long you have depends on if you're a short normal, on a short normal or bye week. You'll use any unspent energy resting. Quick pointer: you can earn coach trust by your in-game and in-practice performance. Blah 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 blah. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna guess. Yeah, we're in week zero when the pra we're in a bye week to open up the season. So let's go ahead and start out with practice. We get access to multiple different things. Um, I want to practice. We're gonna go. We're gonna practice against zone. Get open. Oh, so we're the only We're the only person in practice. Or we're the only wide receiver in this drill, okay. And we're able to score in our second thingy. I don't exactly know how I want to commentate over this yet. Um, so, bear with me if this isn't what you're used to. In terms of the people who played NCAA before this game came out. Um, I am not one of those people who played NCAA, and we almost get a catch against a corner with Superstar Dev. That, that could have been pretty massive. And we're able to get into the end zone... Get a little bit more points for us. I will say this game feels a little bit like... I know this is going to be a, a take that probably crucifies me. I kind of feel like... The... Um... Players move a little bit similar to Madden 19. I know that's probably a, a take that'll crucify me, but I genuinely feel a lot of Madden 19 in this. And we didn't get anywhere near enough, proving that we are just clear bottom of the barrel in terms of where we're at. But we're gaining some coach trust. That's what matters most. Alright, so one of the things I know we have is we have energy we need to spend every week. Uh, we are not close to being injured at all. And we need to spend energy doing random things. So, one thing I want to spend money on, or spend my energy on, is on academics. Because we shouldn't be here to begin with, so we are just going to make sure we can 
we, we can stay here at least academically. That That's kind of the goal. Off to the second practice, and one of the things we really need to focus on in this practice as compared to the first one is making sure we are coming away with completions. We need to make sure we are going to be able to hold on to the ball and score touchdowns so we can keep increasing that multiplier and collect points. After a pretty solid first drive, we get an opportunity to cook this superstar corner, and we do with a big catch. This corner's playing the deep third. We are just going to take what we can get, and we've got a pretty good multiplier building up. It would be pretty nice if we can get a long touchdown, but I don't know how likely that is going to be. Just playing these outside against these corners is going pretty well, and neither of them are able to tackle us. We get a massive touchdown. We're up to 6,000 XP already. As we're able to find the middle of the field wide open yet again, and we hold on to the ball for another 2,000 points. This practice is going fantastic compared to the last one. We get another catch. We got an 11 multiplier right now. As we're able to get another touchdown, we're up to a silver, silver medal. We just need one more to really secure the gold, most likely. And we got the gold. We have had an amazing practice. This is probably going to be great for our coach trust. As we score one more touchdown, didn't drop a single pass. What a great practice for James Marietti. All right, with that out of the way, we are also going to need to spend some, uh, some of our points here. And I want to put a little bit of emphasis on getting another skill point. And I think I want to put basically the rest in being a leadership uh, and making sure we are going to be ready for this exam so we can have a great GPA. We end up losing our first game to Miami of Ohio with no playing time from James Marietti at all. This is where it's really important for us to be stacking up skill points and to be doing really good in practice so we can build up coach trust. So we get a text from our coach after our first game. Hey, James, how have your first few weeks been going? I don't know how much you'll play this year, but I just want you to be patient. Your time will come. We're just going to be thankful that we even have this opportunity at all. And I think the way that I'm going to handle this is we are just going to get to the point where we even get playing time at all. Hey, the team has this tradition where the freshman driver them juniors and seniors all weekend to go wherever they want to go. We are going to do this because I believe this will be beneficial to our leadership. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be good towards our leadership. Aaron Jones, academic advisor. I'll be, we expect a high level. You must maintain above a 2.0 GPA. Uh, you have exams in weeks 8 and 15. Oh, and if you get at least a 3.7 on your first, or finish with a 3.7 in your first three years, you can graduate early and not have to worry about grades as a senior. That is amazing. So academics is something we're really going to want to pay attention to, especially with how low of a recruitment we had. We just need to make sure that uh, we're able to maintain our position in this school. Uh, we're getting our first NIL deal. I wish we would be able to read all of it before. But essentially, two-week contract, we get 500 followers, so 1,000 followers at the end of this. Sure, why not? And become a fan favorite. All right, we have Duke this week, and we have, obviously, our normal set of things we can do. But we only have one skill point. We're not able to spend it, so we are just going to sit on that for a little bit. Let's go ahead and take care of our weekly agenda. We only have one bit of energy we can spend, and I think I want to spend it towards academics. All right, we got our third week of practice, and we're in with a bunch of wide receivers this time. So we should have some opportunities to get open based off of random mismatches on this defense with them having to cover multiple guys. Obviously, we're able to kind of run our own sort of route right there and do what we need to do to get the catch. And we're doing pretty solid to start off this practice. I mean... Nobody's covering me right here. We're going to take the free yardage. Blue, 
That's a bad play by me. It's a disappointing interception. We really should have tried to get that ball, but it is what it is. And we are going to go up and get that ball. 25 yards, massive play. If only we didn't lose all that bone, all the, the multiplier from the play before. Or from whatever that was. We have another opportunity to make a jump ball play, and we make it another 23 yard catch. I mean, that we might be versatile and not just a. A route running wide receiver. Catch that inbounds. Get a massive touchdown grab. I hate that the yards don't count with that, but that's that's a okay. We're able to get silver on this one, which is pretty big. We're still able to get a decent amount of coach trust. Similar with the game against Miami of Ohio, we didn't get any playing time, but we did win this game, so Northwestern moves to 1-1. One one. Unfortunately, we have not been able to be one of those players that makes a difference in any of these games, but that's okay, I guess. Alright, this week we have an FCS school, and we still don't have enough skill points to get an upgrade. We're going to go ahead and take care of our weekly agenda first. And, you know, we are starting to be pretty prepared for this, uh, this exam. So I think I want to put the rest of it into XP. Oh, I don't think, I don't think we're able to. Oh, well, I guess we'll just put it into leadership. That's totally fine. In our fourth practice already with James Marietti at Northwestern. And we need to be making sure we are walking out of these with at least a silver. And the reason why I say this is because we are really close to being... We're close to just moving up on the depth chart in general. Like, I'm not saying we're close to being a starter, but when I looked at the Coach Trust tree, or the thingy, um, a lot of the wide receivers here were between um, 1,500 and 2,000 XP, or uh, Coach Trust. Which puts us in a position where we could potentially get playing time in the next few weeks. And getting out of these practices with decent enough coach trust is going to be massive for us as we get a big touchdown right there. We're able to, we're able to keep turning the door on this free safety. I'm just going to keep abusing. I'm just going to keep using it. There's no point in not. We want to start here. We need to prove to our coach that we are a good route runner and that we can play on this team. We already got the gold with 10 seconds left. That's massive. Wouldn't mind trying to go for a big-ish touchdown here. But honestly, just getting these catches and getting everything, I don't know if it adds more coach trust or not, but we'll take everything it'll give us. And we get 14 catches, gold medal, that is massive for this. We get absolutely destroyed by FCS Midwest with no playing time. We just got to keep practicing because eventually we can become a difference maker for this team. So we are getting some tips on how to get more NIL deals. You can get different types of local, regional, national deals depending on a ton of factor, but it's mainly your brand and how big the school is. Compensation is tied to those factors. Those deals might get you... All right, that works. It's okay for you to be picky with every deal. That's mainly what I got out of that. You have one of your first big tests of the year and your honors marketing course coming up. My professor is known for difficult quizzes and tests. Would you like to come in? Uh, you know what? We are going to study a lot. I'm hoping that puts a big impact on how ready we are for this upcoming exam. We're just going to use our last remaining energy towards the, uh, towards the leadership. We really need to start pouring some of these into XP. Unfortunately for us, a bunch of the wide receivers this past week made a lot of coach trust. They are close to 3,000 now. So our opportunity to be able to play has been pretty much shot significantly down and we really need to be doing well in these practices in order for us to even get a chance at playing this season 
Unfortunately, I don't see that as the case. But I just want to. I want to. I want to touch some playing time. As we're able to get a touchdown there. We already got silver with 20 seconds left. I don't know what the metric for gold is, but we are definitely going to be interested in getting gold. Oh my god, why did I go down? That was the easiest touchdown of my life right there. And there we go. We get our touchdown. We get... Hopefully the coach trust that we need, as that is going to be tipped in the air. Time's out, but we get 500 more coach trust. And we lose our game to Washington. We drop to 1-3. Still no playing time for us. And I'm starting to believe that we are going to be a massive difference maker when we're able to step onto the field. Did you see your test grade? You did pretty well in A-. minus. Check out your GPA to see if it raised it all. Oh, and don't forget about midterms and week 8. Alright, our GPA increased. That's pretty good for us, as I'm pretty sure that increased coach trust. Fan favorite activated. That is pretty good for us. We're on a bye week this week. Uh, so we are going to have plenty of time to do whatever. Um, I want to spend a lot of our energy on upgrading ourselves. I don't think we have a good opportunity to get hurt because we aren't getting that much playing time. So, and plus we're on a bye week, so we got plenty of time to rest. Going into our fifth practice of the season. Fifth or sixth, I don't remember. These are all starting to run together a little bit. Uh, we are... We're just trying to get to the point where we can become a starter, and drops like that are really not going to help our case. I am also, I guess I should mention, I am not planning on restarting any of these practices. Simply because I feel like if we have a bad practice, that's pretty realistic to real life. I mean, I didn't play college football, but I played high school football for years, and I played a couple years of Pop Warner. It is very realistic for a guy to have a bad practice. I mean, I've I've saw a full week of practice where one of the wide receivers at the school I played at couldn't catch a ball to save his life. But then after that, he he did he went on a really good stretch of catching everything. So. Bad stretches of time happen, so we just gotta gotta keep that in mind with these practices. But it is super important for us to take care of all of these uh, opportunities to get more coach trust and an opportunity like this where, for whatever reason, we're not getting any points for the catches but we're still getting what's it called are uh, still getting multipliers like that that's kind of annoying but we still get we still manage to get silver and that's what matters we're still getting coach trust and that's good hey there's a party off campus this week want to go the only thing it's during your night class i think we're gonna skip our lab we we've got a pretty good gpa so I, I think that's okay. Your brain has received a small bump. This week we have the 4-1 and one Indiana Hoosiers. Uh, let's go and take care of our weekly agenda. Um, again, I think we're going to spend the majority of our time making sure we are able to upgrade Marietti. Up and at our next practice already. And we're still not getting points for our catches, which I'm not understanding. Like, maybe we're not pushing the ball far enough downfield? Like, I, I honestly have no idea, but it is kind of annoying. 
But we do get points there, which is pretty big. And drops like that just can't happen. That's completely unacceptable. We probably just lost silver because of that, but we were able to make up for it on the next catch. So I can't be can't be too mad at him. The fact that we caught that is insane. Just a terrible practice this week. I, I've really got nothing right now. And we get picked off again. We lose our bronze medal. This is not what we want to be seeing if we want to be gaining all this coach trust. Oh, God. what a, That was just a terrible practice. Did you miss your lab this week? Your professor alerted our notice and you missed a pop quiz, so you automatically failed. Not a great impression. GPA is taking a hit for going to that party. Offense coordinator, just wanted to make sure you're actually reading the playbook here. Which attack the middle of the field? That would be a post. Yep, here's another. If we were in pistol, why trips right? What do we refer to the single receiver on the left as? I honestly have no idea. We're going to get split end. Yep, that'd be the X. One more for running Z shallow cross out of shotgun spread Y flex with the Z on the motion. Who's usually running the dig on the route on the left side? We're just going to say the slot. Yep, we use that play to put linebackers in a high-low conflict. Hey, you got them all right. A great opportunity for Coach Trust. I didn't know the answer to any of those, but that is totally fine. Fan favorite deactivated. Uh, I forgot to mention it, but we did lose to the Hoosiers. I can I honestly completely forgot about that. We didn't get any playing time, uh, but yeah, <laughs> lol. All right, so we have our exam this week, and I think what we want to do, we want to spend our XP for being prepared, and I think. We are going to spend, yep, we are going to spend most of our, our stuff on prepared, uh, our health and our leadership, which we do need to be developing and we're able to upgrade our player, but what do we want to get? Let's go ahead and up our elusiveness. We are already off on practice number, I believe eight of the season. And this is pretty... We're at the point where we're just needing to grind through these practices in order to be able to gain coach trust. I didn't have a lot of expectations to start Season 1 of Marietti's career, but I did think we would have the opportunity to get playing time. Which is honestly still a hope here. But with how our team is playing right now, I don't think we're going to make a ball game. We're 1-4. and four. Um, And drops like that, why should we even be... Why should I even have the opportunity to play to begin with? Just not having... Last two practices have been a little bit rough. Okay. You know, this wasn't a great practice to start out, but we did make up for it, but we didn't get enough coach trust to get anywhere near becoming a starter. And we dropped to 1-5 and five again. No playtime. This is uh, this has been a rough season for Marietti and the Northwestern Wildcats.
Well, you got your result back. All A's. Check your GPA to see how your results impacted it. We got fan favorite back, which that's pretty big. All right. Uh, we're putting everything into being able to upgrade ourselves. I that's It's just so massive. At least that's how I'm kind of looking at it. All right. It's been a while since we've gotten the gold in practice, so that is going to be... I'm ready to focus today. We need to get back to having good practices. We had a few to string together the beginning of the season. And we have struggled to get back. So that is what we are currently going to try to do. Just string together some good practices. Because I think there is a genuine possibility that we can start probably in week 10. Maybe. As long as we're able to keep making these massive strides with Coach Trust, we will be totally fine. Drops like that don't help though, bud. I don't know if the difficulty in practice is based off Heisman as well, but... Some of these drops are a little brutal. I, I feel like... I feel like some of the drops shouldn't be drops, but at the same time, what can you do? I wasn't... <gasps> that stuff, though, is what annoys me. Is a wasted... Pretty much a wasted rep. I'm pretty sure we could potentially get silver here. Nope. Oh wait, no, we could. We have point. We still have time. Damn. We we're close to silver, but not able to get it. Obviously, that drop earlier in practice doesn't help us at all. Oh my god! I was not expecting this at all. In the middle of a blowout. We are getting absolutely torched by Wisconsin, but James Marietti is going to get his first set of playing time, and I do not like this angle at all. How's this angle? He throws it, our wide receiver does get open. I was not expecting us to get playing time this early in the season. But at the same time, when you're down 35 to, to 7, what, what can you expect? Did we get our first catch of the season? First catch goes for a first down, which that is pretty big for us, and we are dog-tired already. I don't know what's going on. We managed to get back onto the field after our team scores 7. And we got a minute 26 to try and make a big play. Marietti is wide open. Are, are he just why did he wait so long to throw it? We were open for so long and he just doesn't get it to us. That's Painful. You know, I, I'm, I've been staring at this for a while, and I'm really inclined... Well, you know what? We're, we're going to go to the party. We're just going to say bet. I really wanted to decline, but... Oh, well. Coach ain't going to find out. Doesn't matter. We had, a, we had a catch for nine yards so far. Or catch for three yards. In our next practice... We are desperate for gold. The other wide receivers on this team are up near 4,000 level coach trust. And we simply are not near that. We are in dire need to get a massive bump in our coach trust. Because we got our taste of playing time. We want more. So we are simply going to be going for that. So far, I don't want to jinx it, but we've been putting together pretty decent practices. We already got a touchdown in bronze with only 30 something, 37 seconds at that point. 
Get another touchdown right here. We're already over 5,000 points. Just getting these catches underneath has been pretty beneficial towards getting what we need as we're able to get this up to the five yard line already above silver nice not able to get into the end zone there don't know exactly what we're doing but we're able to get the touchdown there we're closing in on our deserved gold medal we're up at towards the seven and we catch this I cannot believe we did not. <gasps> we were 92 points away from gold. <laughs> we lose to Iowa, drop to one and seven. I think we are. We are just not a very good team. As Cade McNamara is the guy that beats us. That's crazy. Alright, so we're at this point in the season where our team is bad. We're not getting playing time. So what my focus is going to be for probably the rest of this year in terms of the weekly agenda, I want to make sure we have at least one in XP, one in leadership. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, one, one XP. That's going to be my focus for the rest of the season, as long as we have 5 energy. That is going to be my plan. We're starting off our next practice, and we need to have a good one. We make that catch? That's insane. But I don't get why we're right here, though. Like, why aren't we on the 1? I don't know. Some, some of these things aren't making sense to me, but... We're building our multiplier, so... Love playing Ooh. man in a zone. In a zone defense. Wait, I, I, it says zone attack. Why is that corner sticking on me like glue if it's man? Or if it's zone? That's not going to be a great hit to sustain. We're able to get a touchdown. We really need gold in this practice. The fact that we turned that into a touchdown is insane. We got gold. We have gold. We have gold. And we're able to turn that into a touchdown. We get our first gold practice in like four practices. That is massive. We get absolutely slapped against Purdue. Honestly, I was hoping we'd get an opportunity for playing time, but we started scoring in the third and fourth, so... Tough, even tough game. Re really just a fight for playing time. We're not going to use dancers. We're going to study ourselves. Well, we have another bye week. We're one and eight. This is a uh, a tough start to our career. Uh, practice makes perfect, and obviously the rest of our team needs to practice because we suck. But we are in a position to do something that we haven't done in a while, and that is put two back-to-back -back gold medals. And at practice for us. So, that is currently my plan, is to try and get another gold medal. Uh, I'm really eager for playing time, even though I'm starting to realize it's probably not going to come until Season 2. Uh, unfortunately, our season stats for this year are probably just going to be one yard for... Or one catch for three yards, but... 
You know what? If you are in the position of James Marietti, if you're in college right now, the freshman wide receiver, just wanting play time, maybe use this as some motivation. Your time will come. That's kind of what I'm looking at with Marietti, especially with how bad the school is. I'm, I'm sure any higher ranking recruits are going to want to probably transfer out. So, there will be an opportunity for us, as long as this team doesn't scout a goaded wide receiver. Yeah, I mean, a good practice, we got another gold. Big week this week against Ohio State. Now watch a team 1-8 like Northwestern be the one to completely destroy this team's... Uh... <laughs> This team stability of being in the top 25. Deciding to test out some of these drills that we have access to in order to just try to change up how our practices are going. Because, I mean, I'm going to be real. Doing that same practice over and over again has... Uh, Made me not want to do it anymore. <laughs> so I just want to... What the hell? I, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like sometimes... I... I stepped out of bounds. Are you kidding <laughs> Not a great way to earn coach trust, that one. Nope. I thought this would be another game where we'd have an opportunity for playing time, but I was wrong. We get absolutely steamrolled by Ohio State, though. So to give an updated look at the coach trust, this is where we are at. And the best wide receiver here is way beyond 30,000. Two things. First, don't forget you have finals in week 15. Second, your American government class is giving you an extra credit opportunity if you write an extra 10-page essay. You know what? We're definitely going to do that. We had to play Michigan? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, um, we already used our, some of this stuff for... What's it called? So I think I'm just going to use some of it for studying, the rest for XP. We, we need as much as we can get, and we actually have enough for an upgrade, so we're probably going to go ahead and do that. Right, we are in our next segment of practice, and in this one we want to get 8 catches inside of any of these hotspots. Same as Madden 24 if you are somebody who frequently watches that game. Uh, but we just simply want to build up a bit of a multiplier, and we, our goal is to get into these 200 hotspots quite a bit. Just because with the multiplier, they are going to give us so many points. And of course that one, I'm, I just barely missed the bubble on the other side. Um, getting gold on this one might be a lot tougher than I thought it would be. We get 400 there. That's pretty massive. It's 15,000 for gold? That is ridiculous. The fact that this was a close game is really disappointing. I thought we were going to get blown out. I thought we were going to get playing time. I was wrong. All right. So we have an exam coming up. We are now in the prepared status for that. We're rocking a 4.0 GPA. We really need as much of this stuff as we can get. That's what I'm going to rock with. All right, we have a drill where we get to work on our jump cut. So what that means is when you hold um, left trigger and you Ready? Uh -huh. 
You hold left trigger and you cut to either the left or the right. I wanted to beat that. I thought I could have beat that there. And we're already at bronze. I'm going to guess you have to score on every single one in order to actually get it. Alright, there we go. I can't imagine the gold on this one being too high. And we got hit already. And we win our second game of the season over University of Illinois. I cannot believe we went 2-10 so far. I... Okay. You know, we've caught up a lot to this guy who is wide receiver 5. But... We still have a long ways to go if we want to get a significant amount of playing time. We got the results from your finals. All C's, not good. What? All C... We were... What? What the... Why did my academics just drop out of nowhere? Are you serious? I imagine that's probably a bug, but that is super annoying. Okay, well, I cannot believe that that got blundered like that. Well, we have plenty of opportunity to... Oh, spending our... Oh, we can't even spend it there. That's so stupid. I, I'm so confused on... Why... Why it said we got C's. We were completely prepared for that. Tyler Show from Louisville wins the Heisman. Uh, no shock, we're not going to make a bowl game. Alright, so we're at the end of the season. And we could enter the transfer portal. And if we were to do this... So what I'm gathering is we'd be close to starting at a one-star school. So... We are going to stick it out with Northwestern after our first season. All right, so, okay, so we're starting out our second season with the opportunity to be in a position battle for the fifth wide receiver spot, but we're not going to be taking care of that this time. That is all for season one of James Marietti's wide receiver Road to Glory. Hopefully next time we're able to, be able to become a starter in season two. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll lead us to more than two wins. At least that's the hope. That's all I got for you. Hope you're enjoying the new channel. This is probably the first video on it. So take it easy. Peace.